what you should know about this new Catholic saint from India. When Nilakanda Palai was baptized a Catholic in 1745, he knowingly left behind the comfort of his wealthy, high caste Hindu family for almost certain persecution and death. Despite the threats to his life, despite the persecution, despite dangers for his own existence, he was ready to proclaim to everyone that he truly loved Christ, that he was ready to witness and to give his life for Christ, Father Harris Pakam told CNA. Pakam, the director of the Salesian News Agency, ANS, explained that it was only four years later that Balai, who took the Christian name Devasahayam at his baptism, then experienced arrest, imprisonment, humiliation, torture, and eventually death. On May 15, just over 270 years after his martyrdom, Devasahayam Palai will be canonized together with nine other men and women in St. Peter's Square. With this moment, of freshness that is being instilled through this canonization of Devasahayam Palai, I believe there will be a great revival, great growth, and a moment of great strength for the church in India, the priest from India said. He is the first Indian martyr, the first Tamil saint, the first Indian layman, to be canonized. It's a great moment of joy for the Indian church, because of the context that we are living in today, a Hindu man who was punished for becoming a Christian is now elevated to the altars. Pakam, who first discovered Devasahayam in 2012, shortly after the layman's beatification, said that, while there had been pushback on the canonization from some Hindu hardliners, the whole of India is rejoicing at this great news. You should know that India is a country with a number of religions, Hinduism, Islam, Sikhism, Jainism, Zoroastrianism, and so on. So the Christians are a very small minority, he explained. Christianity came right from the time of St. Thomas the Apostle, though it has not grown much. He explained that the Catholic Church in India was in constant dialogue with the other faiths and that it ran schools and charitable activities. Most of the Hindus who have been educated in our institutions are very appreciative of this, of what Christianity has done for them, and definitely even the Hindus who are looking at this event are joining hands with the Christians, he noted. I believe that all the agony that he had gone through, over the course of those three years, gave, a powerful testimony, Father Pakam said. The number of Christians, increased at a very great level. And so definitely I feel that the suffering that he has undergone and the great patience, the great zeal that he manifested, is a great lesson for us today. For the rest of the world also, the saint can be a powerful intercessor. His commitment, his zeal for Christ can be also a great invitation for everyone to live their faith well.